Hey guys, it's Justin Conigle from theclosers.ca here with your monthly market update for April 2015. So there were 769 homes that sold last month. Now, if we were gonna compare this March to last March, it wouldn't really be fair because the weather last year held on strong. I mean, we had winter till almost April or May. Um, you know, but if you look at the five year trend, month, year after year, on average, March would be at about 726 homes sold. So, you know, 769 is well above that for real estate purposes and, you know, indicates that the market is heating up. Boots on the ground wise, we are seeing a lot more multiple offers. We're seeing properties that are priced right, selling really, really quickly. So again, a strong indicator that buyers are out there looking for properties and maybe missed out on some over the winter time and looking to really capture that right property over the springtime or summertime market. So if you're thinking of listing now, it's definitely a good time to get serious. Um, another thing that we wanted to bring up, and we usually like to bring up at least one legal fact or something that's gonna affect the real estate industry to give some value to the agents that are out there, and obviously the rest of our listeners that subscribe to our show, um, is as of July 1st, 2015, there is gonna be a big change to dealing with phantom offers. Bill 55 is gonna be amended, and we've been waiting for this for a long time, so that brokerages have to keep a copy of all offers that come in on a property. Why is this important? Well, there are situations where we go in with buyers and submit an offer on a property and then magically all of a sudden we get a call an hour or two later that there's another offer on the property. Agents are not supposed to say that there's another offer on a property unless they actually have a written offer in hand and they're supposed to keep a copy of it but there was no law forcing them to keep an actual physical copy somewhere. Now. As of July 1st, if another if any offers come in, five, six, seven offers, whatever it may be, physical copies of those offers are gonna have to be kept by that brokerage. So if they get challenged, they'll be able to pull those offers and indicate that there were multiple offers on the property. We personally think this is great for our industry and great for the purchasers and sellers because we're not gonna be involved in situations where there's phantom offers when there really aren't any phantom offers. There'll be a lot more transparency as to who the agents are, who are in play, the buyers that are out there and the offers that are actual offers. So, you know, just another in the feather in the cap for the real estate industry and things getting a little bit more transparent. We're all for that and we actually think that this is gonna be great for everybody. Just a quick note, um, for those of you that don't know, Shannon and I did open our own boutique firm last week. So Grogan Conical Real Estate Brokerage is now based out of 361 Talbot Court, right in the heart of downtown. You know, we're looking to be a client first, sales focused boutique firm that really takes service to the next level. We really want to refine our systems, you know, be transparent with everything that we do and really showcase how we are different in the real estate industry and, you know, really, really use our talents to the maximum ability that we have. So if you guys have any questions about that, you know, feel free to give us a shout anytime. As always, leave questions, comments, anything else. If you got some value from this, you know, please give us some feedback. Take care. So this is part of my morning ritual. Usually I will wake up this in hand, um, make sure I'm on up to date with whatever appointments there are for the day, and then just see how many emails. So right now I've got 73 unread emails. Um, so I'm kind of on track. <laughs> so I run a business called Pigeonhole. Uh, we've been in operation for just around five and a half years now. We started as a little shop and now I've got five stores. We're not like lofty design snobs, it's not really what we're about, but we're about having interesting, fun, quirky products that are accessible to a wide range of people. In the car with me is my lovely fashion manager, Crystal. Hey guys. We're on our way to a viewing. Uh, basically a viewing is when you go see a brand and they have all their clothes out on display for you to choose from. Today we're going to see Stussy, big international brand um, but they have actually got Australian designers doing Stussy Australian range and it's, it's pretty good, it sells really well for us in our menswear store which is in Northbridge. Mm. So basically we're going through the clothes, find the ones that we like, these are going to arrive in July, it's still going to be a bit cold so Maybe jumpers are okay. And then put them on this rack here. I guess how I've learned how to do my buying, big process of trial and error, mostly lots of error. And I think the other thing is like doing a lot of travel. Uh, I guess the more you travel, the more you see, the more you see in other stores, the more you see in other brands. And I guess from there, you can kind of work out what is different, what is new and what is exciting. 
Oh, hey Maxie, how's it going? We're trying to negotiate a lease, yep. okay, uh, a short-term lease. Fine. They potentially are going to offer us something extremely good deal if I moved in tomorrow. I think the day after tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, but we're in negotiation because yeah, I think I that's a bit hard for us to do. And also we might want to have a potentially a longer period of time than what they were offering. We don't have to move in.